Fencing as a sport has been around for centuries. It was originally adapted from French dueling, where fighters would fight to first blood as opposed to first death. Now the sport is modernized, using electrical circuits to prevent any harm to its contenders. The most popular type of fencing, Epe, uses a button at the end of the sword and a cord extending out the back of it to register a hit. A fencer scores by touching the other player with the end of their Epe. This sport, with its simple rules and high skill ceiling, have attracted many young competitors. Over time, leagues have developed, and most teams are based out of a school. Although fencing is an individual sport, teams play an important role in the fencing community. After a tournament, teams are ranked, as well as individuals. However, this forms a sort of hierarchy, where older teams will score consistently higher than newer ones. This makes it hard for a new team starting up to compete with those who have been well established. As such, it is unusual to see new teams spring up and be successful. However, one new high school has formed a fencing team and wishes to compete with the best. This is the story of the Cambridge High School fencing team. How did you come to be on the fencing team? Uh, I heard about it from Troy, who was the founder of the fencing team and the captain. I joined the fencing team because the first time I heard about it, I was in eighth grade, and they came in with this PowerPoint showing all the things they were going to have at Cambridge, and fencing was one of them. And I'm like, well, swords, so I have to do it. Right before I moved here, I've been fen I was fencing for about five years prior. Um, and when I moved to Georgia, I immediately looked into what if this high school had a high school fencing team. And I was really excited to find that the Cambridge did in fact have a fencing team. Uh, I joined the fencing team because freshman year, uh, I was just kind of looking for something to do. Uh, saw fencing, um, club was being created, so I thought, why not? I mean, got to mess, got to mess around with swords, so. The fencing team is a family. Everyone's supporting each other. Our team captains are boosting our abilities. We're constantly working hard, making sure we're getting better every day. And just the team supports each other, and we hold each other up. The fencing team has definitely allowed me to develop as a team player. It's kind of given me the tools like patience, skills, to kind of work my way through any problem. It's definitely given me more friendships, um, and it's just a really tight group of people. It's, all of them are lots of fun just to hang out with and talk to. I'm Troy Smith. I'm the current captain and one of the founders of the fencing team. I started fencing in the summer between my fifth and sixth grade year. Um, I went to a camp at Emory and they offered classes. Uh, and one of the classes they offered was fencing. And ever since I saw the list of classes, for some whatever reason, I decided I wanted to try this fencing class. And three weeks later when I got home from the camp, I joined the fencing club. And been fencing ever since. When I came here, or, well, when the school opened, I was I was going into my freshman year, and obviously we didn't yet have a fencing team, um, and we didn't have a lot of clubs or other other club sports or anything. So uh, I had decided that I wasn't willing to go through high school without a fencing team. Um, so I brought one of the coaches from my club at that time, who's still coaching here today, Coach Shaw. My name's Rick Shaw. I'm the coach for the Cambridge fencing team. I had coached in the Georgia High School Fencing League for several years, and I think it came through the team mom, Mrs. Smith, uh, and, and the contacts with Dunwoody Fencing Club, where I also coached. Um, my mom is now the team mom, and she has been for the last three years. My son is Troy Smith, and he um, has been fencing for a really long time, and really wanted to fence on a high school fencing team. Uh, so, in order to do that, we were going to have to put together a team. So, he was able to um, finally talk a teacher into sponsoring the team. And um, we know several coaches in the area, and so we were able to um, find a coach. And then we just got the word around to the kids, and a lot of kids showed up, uh, a lot more than we thought would. And uh, we have a really great group of kids, and we all have a really great time. The hardest part about putting together the team was actually finding a teacher sponsor. 
um, because it was a new school and everybody wanted to start a new club and leave their mark on the school. And so I went to all of my teachers within the first week of school um, and every single one of them already had some club they were sponsoring. Uh, the, only, the only teacher that had possibly said anything positive was Miss Barker. I am Nancy Barker. I'm a math teacher here at Cambridge High School. Well, I'm the teacher sponsor, so my job is primarily to be here every day, or every Thursday when we have our practices after school, and I keep some of the equipment in the room and keep track of the sign-in sheet and keep track of the finance, financial end of things where we have to work through the school whenever we collect money or raise money and set up the fencing tournament and that kind of thing. She said that um, she sounded pretty busy and uh, she, she thought she would be pretty busy. Well, the first year Cambridge opened, young freshman Troy Smith came to my room and asked me if I would please consider being the fencing team sponsor. And I said, Troy, I have too much to do. I don't have time for that. Go find someone else. And if you can't find anyone else, then come back to me. And he came back to me. The biggest challenge I've had to overcome is squaring up against all these other fencers from other schools who have so much more experience than at the time when I was newer. It's just, you're going up against guys with four years of experience when it's your first day. The biggest challenge I'd say is, I mean, I've been fencing since freshman year, junior now, and so I'm kind of, I hit a point where I just, I don't know, I didn't want to do it anymore. I kind of just kind of plateaued. And so it wasn't really getting better, it wasn't getting worse. Um, and so I thought about quitting, but I came back this year and it was definitely a good decision. And One of my biggest challenges was getting used to the constant competitions we've been going to. Well, I've only always been practicing and going to practices before prior. Going to a competition about every week was probably my biggest challenge, is trying to get used to how the formats of uh, the competitions work out. The biggest challenge is has really just been being a new team, not having um, an existing base to build on or to to be able to stand on. We've had to start with only a few fencers that had experience. Everyone else was new, so the majority of the team were all new to the sport. never fenced. I know absolutely nothing about fencing. And I asked Troy in the beginning, am I going to be the coach? He was sure to tell me, no, Miss Barker, you are not going to be the coach. And I was relieved because I don't know anything about it. But I think it's a very interesting sport. And what I notice is that it, fencing attracts very smart, um, very unique and interesting students. And I like that because I've seen students come together and really participate in something special. The team has had pretty good success for a first year team. Uh, I think our finished place was sixth overall out of 13 teams and I think just more and more students finding out what we were doing and that the fencing team even existed and the, the positive results that we had attracted more people who were interested. To me, the team is a group of people who all enjoy the same thing. Obviously, that thing is fencing, um, but it's it's more than that. We we go to all these tournaments together, and while we're not always competing side by side, uh, and sometimes even we're competing against each other, every person on the team is looking out for the team as a whole. Um, not just for their own scores or for however many points that they have, but as a whole, um, it's, it's just a community of a bunch of people that uh, have come together to pursue something they enjoy.